Day legend lookers, I'm on silence and we're on the air with more Tomb Raider Legend. It's episode 8 of Tomb Raider Legend. Thanks for tuning in. We left you halfway through the England level last time out. And now we're going to pick up where we left off. Will you look at that? Oh, this is brilliant. That is interesting. It's a long one, this level, as you've kind of gathered by the length of the last in this video. And we kind of hear me a little later on kind of float this idea out there. So this is future Steve coming back and kind of picking you up where you left off. So let's meet past Steve and more Tomb Raider legend. Now I was... Not those. Friend of the channel, Marcus12, sent me a heads up. He said, Steve, when you see this, it's glitchy. Don't touch them. At when you first see them. Because if you... Okay, not sure what that was supposed to do. Mm, no. Okay. Why? Forgot this. And does it okay? I mean, momentum it across. Okay. Okay. Okay, and then that's where... Then your momentum around. Ah, okay, I'm get, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Then we go up, and we go up. Oh, I uh, yeah, there you go. Amazing. All right, let's try that again. Man, these levels are. I'm gonna start cutting these levels in half. There we go. There we go. All right, up and up and up. And almost. Whoop. Oh, and we climb. Onwards and upwards. Huzzah. And we grab the oh no, we grab the relic and then we shimmy down. That's what we'll do.
Of course it was a bell rope. Signal four, Lara. What are we looking at? We're looking at myth. Except it's real. They're all here. The court of Camelot. You're sure about this? King Arthur, who washed verily of ye loins of Uther Pendragon? Hmm? I've no doubt about the authenticity of this tomb, Alistair. Arthur was the 11th century figure that became legend. The once and future king was as real then as the air I'm breathing now. I don't know, Lara. Excalibur. The sword in the stone. That's how it always goes, isn't it? Pardon? Swords in stones, Alistair. They're part of the monomyth. There wasn't just one Excalibur or one Merlin. We keep seeing swords and deuses all over the world because they were everywhere. So you're saying that everywhere they went, they raised up kings, shaping the course of human destiny? Well, it's a possibility. Who? And what happened to them and their swords? Perhaps they're in Avalon. It's as good a place as any. Except our Merlin was killed and our Excalibur was left in pieces in the hands of the locals. So where's Avalon? I don't know. On the other side of the looking glass, perhaps? It says Bedivere returned a fragment of Excalibur to Arthur after the other pieces were carried off by the knights. Where did they go? To find Avalon, perhaps. The quest for the Holy Grail. Lancelot, Galahad, Percival, and Bors. Their tombs are empty. It says this fragment was left with Arthur to help him leave this mausoleum when the time came. Perhaps it will help me instead. So there's a fragment kicking around somewhere? Doesn't ring too well, does it? You should be able to move that if it's any help. Do you mean I could crack open King Arthur's tomb? not doing that that way so Let's see what's back here Sure, where that's supposed to be going, swinging to. Hmm. I come in the wrong way. I 
comes back down and hits nothing. And that does get me nowhere. Hmm. Well, not that. Can I get back up and out, or...? Okay, that's not working. Well, I'm admittedly rather stumped. Freaking out. So my question is, where the hell do I do I go onto the pillar? I was right above the pillar. It just there was no way to get there. So what if... Then I hop over to here. Ride that down. It swings back. There we go. I knew the ring the bell had to be the way to do it, but... Well, that works. been found. That's what's happening. Amanda's friends have arrived. Why am I shooting at? Okay. Not quite what I was going getting for, but Okay, out. I, uh, missed slightly. Ow, I missed a lot less slightly.
What am I not seeing? I missed that. I think I'm getting it. No, I'm not getting it. Why does this... Mm. Ah, this is... Actually, the worst... I thought the last boss fight sucked. No, this boss fight is considerably worse. Could you kindly just eat me? This could actually... this is... a pretty, pretty poor boss fight design. Like, I mean, I get it, but it's just like so finicky that it's just like... And things AOE is so incredibly massive that it's like... Like, I mean, that's not even close to the same zip code as I'm in. Like, that one hit, and it does as much damage as if... Like, I get it. It... Like, the design, I get, right? You shoot the gimmicks, right? And it makes noise and it attracts the... The sea serpent thing. Right? And then you drop the spiky thing on its head. Okay, yeah. But you gotta put away your guns and then you gotta put... Do that and you gotta... And then you miss, because you can't hit it. And then you miss, because you can't hit it. And you miss, because you can't hit it. And there's nowhere to hide and dodge from that thing. And you miss. I mean, the worst part is I know how to kill it. Except it's just, it's, it's not, you gotta, it's gotta be under there, but it never goes under there. I don't get it. This boss fight makes no, I mean, it doesn't make sense. It just doesn't. It's like it's glitched out. Because you can't hit it.
I'd rather I'd rather slog through the ludo narrative dissonance that is Tomb Raider 2013 than try and figure out this boss fight. Because well, no, I figured out this boss. I figured out this boss fight. I get how it's supposed to work. I don't know how it actually works. They haven't touched this game in 15 and a half years. That's the biggest problem with this thing, is they haven't touched it in 15 and a half years. I mean, Crystal Dynamics puts their name on it, but they haven't touched it in 15 and a half years. Can I... Stop screwing with me here. You gotta be kidding me. That's not what I wanted, but fuck it, I'll take it. It went through the cage! Its head went through the cage! I'm seeing it! I can't clamber up that way now. Okay, now, how do you draw it? How do you draw it into a spot where it just... Why, why are you sh doing that? Like, is there a thing where you draw that thing out a bit? No, it's just hanging from the ceiling. Like, none of it makes... Like... I think I would have more luck if I just tried to shoot it like this. Can I can I just slowly whittle it down like this? If I just ignored the mechanic in the game? If I just ignore the obvious mechanic that it's wanting... Except that's not helping. I don't think it's actually doing any damage. One eternity later. Alright, so I've actually had to go and look at a guide for this, because, like... Apparently, what you have to... we'll show you. I'll show you! They won't. <laughs> but I, I'll show you. Show, don't tell. I, shh, there's no show or tell. Now, you've got to keep spamming, shooting that. Until he gets hypnotized. And then drop that on his- Oh, you've got to be shitting me! Oh, I've had it up to here with you. Oh, I hate this! 
and then you pull that and it drops it on its head. That's how it's supposed to work. Ah, uh, why? And now you drop that on its head. And it gets mad. Why, why did, why does it do so much goddamn damage? That was freaky. Freaked out. I was gonna say, this thing does so much goddamn damage. And this should finish it. Maybe, maybe not. It will retreat. It will die. It will something. It will provide us a bridge out. No, we can't climb up on the on the uh, sea serpent corpse. Squishy. Onwards and forwards. I like that there's a but wait, there's more. You beat the boss and you still gotta go. That should be near the end, you'd think, anyway. I don't know, you still got a jump to make. Oh! There's a QTE. It's not as dead as it originally looked. Oh, we almost rancored it. Almost rancored it. Is it gonna give up? Probably would've come back even if we did rancor it. Return of the Jedi. Beginning part, first act. <laughs> I know, I know. My audience, there's a high likelihood that you've seen. Return of the Jedi, but... Maybe I shouldn't have shot that. Maybe I should have watched the guide to get me past the boss fight. That's not it either. Nope. No, you climb up on that. Nope, and we gotta... F. And down. Pick that up, and we'll... kind of reverse what we did. Except you got it. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. And back. And forth. And back. And forth. And jump. There we go. And a checkpoint. And. Well, this might be on a timer, so let's slide. Oh, that sounds like action music. Yep. Oh. 
Oh, they got the high ground. Man, you had the high ground. How bad are you at your job if you can't win with the high ground? Amateurs. Follow them up, I guess. I, we've done this part before. So we know how this goes. You. Oh, and they did jam that. So they found their own stuff to jam with. They are jamming. Oh, you can shoot me through the gate. Okay. You're welcome to advance beyond that. I have to switch back to that. Yeah. What was I saying before? I'm definitely going to have to switch it to... Or we're going to have to cut this to two episodes. They'll both be a pretty healthy length. Okay, we'll just use the height to get me over that. How's that sound? What's this? SMG? Yeah. Alright, let's... Pushes across. Ooh. Really? What the hell? He's hiding. I got him. Alright, slide across. We know how this goes. That guy, not very good at his job. How? Swap that over. Just kind of come back this way. Spun into perfect position. Put that there. Hop up. Mm, it's a little bit of a leap, but we'll have to make it work. Okay, made it work. Just in case. Don't need that. We'll take that.
That got him. What's an SMG? Grab that. He's probably an explosive guy. And then it turns out he was. This a lift. They didn't mess around, they installed this lift pretty damn fast. Ah! I was hoping he was gonna fall down to the chasm. There we go, I got it. Uh, no, what was I gonna say? Yeah, it's anchored into the ceiling and everything. I don't know how long it takes to do that. I'm by no means an engineer. Oh! I don't care where you're from, that's gotta hurt. Not allowed to move when... Mm, there we go, we got it. that. Switched armaments. There we go. I got it. That's a checkpoint. Oh. Aw, not the attack over all shit. Oh, they blew up their own attack with her. Bastards. Oh, shit. Because the last guy was busy. I was say, don't they look like just like guys out of like Cobra from G.I. Joe? Except the dudes from Cobra were not supposed to kill, so... I remember that episode of Community. Also, these guys have... There we go. These guys have more pain than uh, the dudes from, uh, you know, Pain the Stunlock from Doom, right? They didn't have that in Doom 3, but they do have it in Tomb Raider Legend. Oh. Oh, what's the uh, grenade button? That one. Oh, really? I don't get it, but whatever. I just work here. All right, onwards and upwards. Oh, right, my forklift blew up. I was gonna say, where's my goddamn forklift? I crashed my forklift. There's one thing I found out about these boys is they don't do well with the high ground. What about the rest of your buddies? Hello, lads. Hey, Lara. What's up? They didn't make off with your credit cards, did they? Is everything alright? 
Alistair? I'm fine. I'm fine. Just uh, not my usual evening routine. Then let's go home. I honestly cannot believe that isn't the usual evening routine when you're, you know, in the employ of Lara Croft. I mean, let's be honest. Oh, I've got a pistol upgrade. Look at that. Cinematics, bio concept, outfit selection, object models, and pistol upgrades, which are available from the extras menu. And we've got a new outfit. And, um, of, well, yeah, just past half. 15 rewards, and. Yeah, you can see. You can see there why this is actually episode 8, and you don't have a really good intro. Uh, of, of this, I, yeah, because I just literally decided when I was talking out loud in that last section. Hey, you know what's a good idea? Let's split this up into two parts. I might do that with the next one and see how long uh, the next... The, yeah, the uh, next uh, level is... Like, Peru Periso had a, had, a, had a logical break in there. And I really should have done that with... Uh, Kazakhstan, and now I think I'm gonna do that going forward. Just record it all in one shot, and then just if it's like an hour long plus, break it up. Mm. Even if it's pushing it past 50 minutes, and I think about breaking it up into two parts. But anyway, uh, that'll do it for this episode of uh, Tomb Raider Legend. Next time out, next time actually they didn't tell us where we're going next time, did they? I guess we'll find out in the opening cutscene of the next uh, of the next level. But uh, hopefully wherever it is, you know, not as long a level. That would be nice-ish. Uh, give you a little chance to breathe. And uh, maybe a boss fight where they... You know, they signposted a little better. This is something we've been talking about since Half-Life, right? We've been talking about the importance of signposting and visual cues and audio cues things the game designers do rather than tell you how something works hint it to you so you could start pulling it together and they kind of did but they also kind of didn't because with the boss fight the serpent fight there was no hint that the thing that the serpent would get hypnotized by the sound of shooting the the statue gimmick Yes, they, they 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 gave me the shoot it. It makes a sound and attracts the serpent over. But no, the serpent fixates on it and gives you the opportunity to drop the spiky cage on its head. So that's where I'm coming at, right? They gave you they gave you enough to realize you have to shoot the thing and it moves it over, but it missed the last piece that you had to keep shooting it in order to fixate it, drop the thing on its head, because I was certain I had it figured out. Shoot it, draw it over, drop the cage on its head. Simple, effective. All the pieces were there, but there was no hint, cue, anything that said it would... It never turned and looked at it, at the, at the um, thing as you were shooting it. And just like the... Like, if you shot it enough times, it would kind of take a... If it would take a look at it, right? Or if it would move a little bit into the position or draw in a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Just give you that little bit to say, actually, if you keep doing it, it's gonna... It's gonna go in towards it and right underneath the cage. It had to just give you the little... It didn't have to be much. It could cock its head 45 degrees. It could just slide over. And they close the gap by half to what you needed. Just a little something, you know? Not a lot, just a little bit. But anyway, that'll do it for this episode of Tomb Raider Legend. Next time out, next time out. We'll, uh... I guess we'll see where we're going next. But until then, I'm on silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. Share on social media. Follow on social media. The social media handle is on silent on air. And that is for Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Tumblr. And don't forget, there's plenty more Tomb Raiders in the playlists. They're on the screen in the description down below. And more videos anytime. 
on the channel page. And until the next time, I'm on silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like, share, subscribe, and we will see you next time.